<laughs> Got 2020 Alice. Today we're going to strip out the regulator. It's a very simple job. You've only got four stainless screws where the regulator is. Then the whole thing slides out as a unit and we can take a look at it. So just undo the four Phillips screws that hold it in place. Slightly sprung loaded, so there we go. And that's the whole regulator as a unit. It's got a peak front on it, which is a plastic hard bearing stainless as uh, steam resistant plastic so you can put oil onto this one check it actually moves on its spindle okay. and when you come to replace it it's got a small paper gasket on it and make sure that's complete and when you put it round make sure you get the orientation correct put it back in and the way to tell it's the right way is to get these in the central positions when you're on and off. And if that's correct, you should just be able to screw it back in again. Try to screw them evenly because it's sprung loaded. They're stainless, so they're nice, tough screws. You can do them up reasonably tight. That's it, back in again. So this is the regulator parts removed. It's got the little stainless screws. The main bush, this extended brass section, the spring, and then the actual regulator peak part itself. If you actually want to take it apart to check everything is okay, what you have to do is a very small Allen key, little grub screw in the end here. These are really tiny, but you should. You unscrew that. Then with a little bit of persuasion, you can actually remove the handle from the end. A little bit of wiggling. There we go, handle's off then this whole section comes apart. Ooh, it's all rolling away. There we go. And this is the actual regulator rod itself in stainless. So you've got a little bit of movement and a pin that holds the peak onto this stainless bar. So that's got to wiggle up and down. Then you have the spring that actually puts the tension onto the regulator. And the brass insert. And then you've got the bronze bush. And inside there is the O-ring seal. That keeps that nice and sealed. So it all goes together as a set. And the last piece, pop that handle back on the end, wiggle that into position, then you can screw up this tiny grub screw. If you want to, you can swap the grub screw out for a hex head. If you want to get something with a little bit more uh, torque on it, then you can get a very small spanner on there, do it up a bit tighter. That's something we've done in the past. Make sure you keep the orientation between the blocks and you're ready to refit that back inside your loco.